nobody on YouTube is going to call you on using that ass backwards. I will. I don't, yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Derek with the Heidi's Outdoors. And we're back out here on the property. So we've been working on some projects over this past week. And wanted to kind of give you guys an update, show you what we've been up to. I think that's going to look a little bit different. Oh yeah. As you can see here, we've got a canopy installed and we've got some lights. We've got some floodlights set up. Now, I'm not gonna, you know, do a comprehensive review of this particular light set. Uh, it's just a cheap set from Amazon. So if you check it, if you've seen my previous videos, you might have seen that I installed a power block here underneath my dash. Well, what that did was that allowed me an easy access point that I could plug in any electronics to without having to route down and around through all the way up to the battery that's at the front. If you haven't seen that video, why don't you go check that out. It was an a interesting uh, install. All right, well, here's what we're doing today. We're installing, we're installing a canopy and uh, it is raining so we set up a canopy to install the canopy on the tractor that's right and now it stopped raining and <laughs> now it stopped raining okay <laughs> got a rhino hide universal canopy cover uh this is the one that's going to mount we're going to mount it so that way we can do both the front and over the backhoe it's got the dual mounting brackets all right let's do it so it shows that you can adjust it so that way it can slide back and forth up and down and and rain let's open up the instructions it's probably a good idea i don't always start there but on occasion <laughs> i have watched i've watched a bunch of videos people have installed these so it's it's not rocket surgery Ooh, nice okay those vents uh to help so that way you've uh so you can uh you don't have a, a mating surface from metal to metal it allows water to be able yeah. to to drain out so you don't rust out so you get no rust in there from the vibration and whatnot all right all right so i'm going to do this i think i'm going to do this a little bit differently i don't know if i'm we'll do it one way for right now to mount on the front i'm a lot so worried about the backhoe the moment what to do is mount it this way with this on the inside yeah then this bolts to this and then those slide into this piece yes. well my thought my idea is I want to take it I want to make it adjustable so I can do it this way and then pull a pin like yeah. get us you have to go get one of those like the trailer spring loaded pins yeah and then have it so I can turn it back Roll here. Roll it back over. So I only have one bracket. One yeah. set of brackets. So how much adjustability is there in the angle? Well, once you bolt this, because the thing is, like, it has to do with where the holes are here. Yeah. No, I mean, how does this attach to the top? Have you got some flexibility in how much you can roll the top as well? No, I mean, it just depends on where you set it. Okay. So it's it's a fixed mount to this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on the inside because I'm going to take these. Instead of doing one to the front, one to the back, so I want to take it so I can pivot it and rotate it. But then, with that, uh, I'm going to use the the other two brackets to like mount my toolbox and other stuff onto the rocks. I'm trying to. Which way looks better, you think? With I think the, probably that way. This way that you yeah. think that looks better than. So I think you get more adjustability. Actually, I don't think the adjustability will matter. Do you think Put that... it on there and push gun to shove. We can flip them around. I'd rather have the U-bolts not close to my head getting on and off the tractor. Oh, the ends? Yeah. You I get some acorn nuts. We can cut them off. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> okay. So, 12 inches. Here. It says something about 12 inches. About 12 inches down from the top of your rocks.
It doesn't say if it's the top of the thing or the bottom of the thing. Top of the bracket? I guess it's 12 inches down. Are you wanting this to mount on the top of it? Well, I want it so that way... It goes over the top, it yeah. It over the top. Mount so 12 that inches way, from the top. I flip it over yeah. and flip it around, it'll, uh, it'll mount for the other side. Okay. So yeah, I'd go 12 from the top then. All right. There, Give that I one a go. A, a wrench to to start to kind of like just position and check. Yep. Just okay. snag them up a little bit. Yeah, they're just a little spring tight. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so so that's roughly 11 inches. Hey, measure down to the bottom side of your bolt, and then you can set that clamp on the other side at the same height. Does that make sense? What'd you forget? That's the screen. Oh yeah. Are there holes punched in the screen already? I don't know. Oh no, it's small enough. Here, you got it? It's a width problem, like it's too wide. Yeah, hang on. There, there you go. go. Okay. I've got all the sockets and wrenches and stuff to do this stuff. I just. You had to take up more table space for that. Right? I don't want to beat on the threads. You want a bigger hammer? No, I, don't, I just want to loosen it up enough so I can slide it. So I can go like... <laughs> so I can down seven inches. That wasn't a very good camera angle on that. That's my fault. Dude, it's fine. Zoomed in a little too close there. People don't keep me around for my brains. It's more my good looks and okay, so charming personality. I can loosen these up and shift them as I need to. Yeah. Not following the instructions. Well, you know. I do what I want. That's it. But once I get these on, so I'll just do it as all taken. I will. Uh... Don't forget your screen. I'll hold it while you grab the screen. Okay. All right. I don't think they built Rome with plans, so. <laughs> You're probably all right. I like this side of the tractor. Say what? Oh. <laughs> I like this side of the tractor. I know why. All right. I'm going to be joining you in a minute. Yep. Damn it. Can you hold the front and I'll bump the back up because it's going to... There you I just go. want to get it over the, get the screen down. Yep. You're, there you go. Alright, before you go Hulkamania on that, you want to measure real quick? Oh, it'll slide. It's still, it's still. Okay. So we go up. Yep. Okay.
Seven inches. Okay. Those leaves on the canopy in the background look like there's something crawling on it. <laughs> So my thought is, what I'm going to do is, I only want to have one bracket on here. I want to take and make, be able to make it so that way I can put a pin, put a pin, and like a, if I want to put it to the back, I can take it and I can just pivot and rotate it like that. So what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill out. To punch another hole in there. Punch a hole in there. I need, I need the hole to be in the center of the bracket. Oh, for the pivot? Yeah. I'm... Yeah, it comes with ways you can do it one way, but I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to do it my way. I screwed up. How so? Because <laughs> this, unless. So how does? Oh, how well, I that... guess I guess because it it only it's only going to go so far. Damn it! Isn't that what those? Isn't that what that's for? Or is that an extra? This set is an extra of... one, so that way you have one on one side and you have one sticking out this oh, way and one I sticking out you. this way. See, I was thinking like here, because like this should be able to. Yeah. And I was hoping, I was thinking, man, I want to be able to, to pin, just take a spring loaded pin, pull it out, rotate it here, put it in, slide it. There we go. That's more better. Okay. So yeah, if you mount that just like that. That's actually not bad. That's the angle I need. Right. Here's. I'm just going to fix it for right now. I'm not going to worry about the back row I've got all that. Here we go. I think we got ourselves a nice looking canopy here. Kind of Actually, I like the rake of it. I like the I like that it uh, 
tilts forward a little bit so that way it'll run off. And in theory, if you hit limbs, it should hopefully push them up and over. Yeah, I like that. As opposed to catching and coming back in. I think that's going to work pretty well. All right. So for the canopy, we have this rhino hide canopy, and I'll tell you what, I think it looks look look. I think it looks pretty dang good. Uh, I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it turned out. As you can tell the covers just clear enough just over the steering so that way you're not going to hopefully you know, well maybe my feet might get a little wet but we'll see we'll see how that works uh it's great for shade and also for a little bit of protection from the from the weather Tighten it up more than that if you want to. Nah. Okay, so those are all mounted. Yeah. And we got this light here to wire up, and this light here. Uh, what I want to do though is I do want to cover some wiring basics that I think are pretty important and hopefully will be useful for some of you out there so that way uh, you're if you install something like this it'll uh, it'll give you some things to think about when it comes to uh, making our connections i used heat shrink tubing uh, the adhesive line stuff so that way for one it's it's sealed but two i also used heat shrink uh, butt connectors that uh, also are adhesive lines so that way you know once you get a good crimp you're not going to have to worry about it coming loose so it's kind of a, a belt and suspenders a double backup approach so that way you're uh, you're never going to have a, a loose or bad poor connection there even due to uh, due to water infiltration Dude, I love this I love this uh, zip tie I had never seen one zip tie gun. um I was in New Mexico last year, my dad deer hunting. I was helping the guy we were at his place, helping him work on a golf cart, and he pulled one out. What's that? Oh, it's a zip tie gun. Dude, awesome. Like, I don't know what that is, but I'm interested. So what I've got here is I've got some adhesive uh, zip tie holders. Uh, I didn't want to make any additional penetrations into the roof of the canopy if I didn't need to. Similarly, you know, we have the same thing here along along the rops. I mean, <laughs> like, they'd be bolted or screwed into the... Something. Yeah, with those little one-hole loops. Yeah, except for the... I mean, I wouldn't want to do that into the rops. No. Because then, you know, something happens and it jacks up. You're yep, bolt. you got a structural failure due to ineptitude on the user's part. Exactly. <laughs> that's, what, that's what will be said. <laughs>
turn the light, lights on low beam? Yeah, that's low beam. Put the, now put the lights on. So even with the bucket catching the brunt of that, look how much you've got off I know, that, well that was the whole point of why, why I was thinking three lights. Yeah, that's freaking just, awesome. Uh, hopefully that some of these uh, some of these tips or uh, aspects of the installation are helpful and useful if uh, if you see that I did something that that you think could have been done better please you know let me know because I'm I'm kind of particular about how I install these things and I want to make certain that it's gonna last uh, you know it's kind of the same thing with uh, kind of the same thing with with almost any economy or or inexpensive materials. Uh, oftentimes, it, it's not the materials that really are the factor for the quality of or how uh, how nice something is. It's usually you know the installation. You know, similar to tile. You can, if you have uh, inexpensive tile but it's installed properly, it looks nice and it looks more expensive. And the same thing goes with the uh, you know expensive tile. You can put an expensive tile, but if it's not installed correctly, it look it looks kind of crappy. Um, and I, I think that that's what I was trying to trying to achieve here is that even though this is a even though those are these are super budget low price low cost uh, floodlights uh, they work well uh, because they were you know the position the angle and also um, you know just when you when you do take the time to install something well then it pays off and it, it looks and perf will perform. Uh, much better than something that's more expensive, but you just kind of slap on. So, um, again, if anybody has any comments or any suggestions for how to how to make it a little bit better, please uh, drop it down in the comments. Uh, you know, if you haven't already checked out the power block installation uh, for how I am planned on providing uh, power to all my accessories, uh, go check that out in the in the. Uh, uh, you know, I'll place a card over it for it over here. So if you haven't. Um, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Alright, well thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.